A man with a nice big heart. Oh my god. Who also has a nice dick for when she turns 18. Oh my god. Just throwing that out there. You're a terrible person. She put the peasant, which can now be said to my father's memento, in her pocket. You just cross out pendant and just put peasant. <laughs> Dude, it, yeah. For now, see that see that word pendant? No, 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 no. It's going to be peasant from now on. German. Wow. Schlieg. <laughs> I love how you added the and the I was trying to pronounce it. I was trying to pronounce it. I feel like you need to just say Jäger! Nine. Shout out to German. I weave my words with magical energy quickly. Wow, okay, so magic is in German now? Well, according to her family, I guess. What is her name? Oh, she's... What is her name? Rin Vashafen Garfen? Dry. Dry. <laughs> she's disguising her house, dude. That's what she's doing. My eyes. How the f- oh, I was just about to ask how the fuck she could do that, but magic. Magic, Duh. dude. She just explained it. God, pay attention. What happens if somebody just walks into it when it's invisible? I think she's going to explain that. She goes to the church. She's going to go to church and ask the priest sometime. <laughs> oh, Lord. Now it makes me think of Catherine when you go in the confessional and answer the question, and then you can just go up to the next level and play the puzzle. So if we ever know somebody who's ever going to get married, I want them to sit down and play Catherine with us because I want to be all, this is what the rest of your life is going to be. <laughs> you're going to have nightmares, and you're going to be climbing up blocks. Yeah, <laughs> nightmares for the rest of your life. I'm- it's strange that I haven't seen one student so far. They're invisible. They're wearing invisibility cloaks. She used her magic in order to hide everybody. Oh, like, no. It just makes me think of, when you said no one's there, it makes me think of Steins Gate when we played it. And oh, yeah. Where everyone just fucking disappeared and shit. Where the fuck did Whoa. Who's she? Oh, we'll watch you keep playing. You As out. I suspected. See, there you go. Ayako. Ayako Mitsu, Mitsuzuri. Yeah, God bless you. So... Her alarm was set incorrectly. So what she, a stupid bitch! Hey, you can't blame her. She's up translating her father's will and stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I think she found her hobby. Translating dead people's wills. <laughs> just her father's. She just needs to find a, a, a nice man her age that can give her some D, like, no tomorrow. But she's only 15. Yeah, but if she's with a dude who's 15, it's not awkward. Oh, see, so Shiro? Yeah. Emiya? Yeah. Yeah. Archer. Archery club. Archer. We're gonna become our own archers, and uh, I was about to say Legolas's. And <laughs> Legolas's. <laughs> and we could be our own Hawkeyes. Ooh. We'll be hot guys. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Uh, that was so dumb. No, nah, that was good. I have three acquaintances in the archery club. All three of them are possible romantic love interests. <laughs> <laughs> That statement was a little ironic. She talks like a guy when she's expressing her true feelings. <laughs> so does that mean she's all like, oh my god, I, I want to take you with me to archery club. And then when she's talking about what she's feeling, about her true feelings, when she like walks up to some dude and she's like, hey dude, I like you. Just go hang out sometime. <laughs> it's like, that's totally sounding like a guy, right? Uh, yeah, totally. When do we get to the hot guys? No, oh, there's one. Oh my god, it's not a hot guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, she has to summon him first. Not her, Rin, I mean. She has to summon him first. This isn't dramatical murder, man. That doesn't mean there can't be hot guys in this game. Oh, it's impossible. It has to be all women. But, okay, you know what? I can forgive it because my wife is in this game. Not right now she's in it. <laughs> she's in the game! Where? Okay. I don't see her anywhere in the scene. She was at the beginning. Yeah. She held out her hand to the dude and was all like... she wrote, dude. Yeah, I know, but she was still in the game. Yeah, at the beginning, that's it. <laughs> Keep going, maybe we'll get to her. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> it's the quest for Saber. Yeah. Alright, we're that's not going to end this episode until we get to oh, Saber. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> we have this kind of relationship. Like, gay shape? Gay shape? <laughs> gay shape? What's a gay shape, Greg? A circle, obviously. Oh, because it's round? Because it's the same shape that a butthole is. <laughs> okay, keep going. Let's continue looking for Saber. Yes.
woman never having a boyfriend, so you can get a boyfriend before the third year. So is this a shonen jump? Not shonen jump. Shonen uh, shoujo. Shoujo. Shoujo B. No. You know that company that starts with an S shoujo. that makes manga and anime and games. <laughs> okay. And you wonder what else starts with an S? Saber. Let's continue looking for her. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like a hentai now. Yeah, porn. Honestly. It's a porn. Honestly. I just like how it goes, Ayako laughs, and then honestly. The honestly. It's just like, a line sh- break. I like it. Wow, so that's a good answer. I like it. It's romantic. It's still not Saber. Well, let's keep looking. <laughs> you know, this is a long dialogue thing about... Dialogue, dialogue. It's a long dialogue that doesn't have Saber in it. It's just talking about archery and men. Well, I mean, that's something you would talk about, right? Archery and men? Well, if it involves Archer and wanting to suck Archer's long. Long? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Who I for- says that anymore? <laughs> long? His long. I was going to be clever and say something related to archery, and I just. His long arrow? What, what's the, like, the base? Like The shaft? The shaft. There you go. Oh <laughs> like his long shaft. His long. <laughs> That's probably one of the dumbest things I've ever said. <laughs> I won't lie. Oh my God. Let's just keep looking for Saber, shall we? <laughs> admit it. I admit it. I know nothing when it comes to love and relationships. You stick a dick in a hole, there you go. That's a relationship. That's sex. That's a relationship. Why don't you join a club? Is that the swim club? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's right. We got a swim club. Oh, that's right. We got a swim club. You got any more advice over there? Boy mm-hmm. meets world. I don't know, Nagisa. How's your grandmother or was it your mother's that's drinking that's problem? That's a low blow. Low blow, Makoto. I'm gonna make that boy my bride. Shut up. I'm your rival first and captain of this place second. <laughs> Naturally. That's hot. Narrowed eyes. Those narrowed eyes aren't helping me find Saber. Good morning, Captain. Oh, it's Sakura. Card capture Sakura? Yeah, totally. <laughs> I know who they're talking about. Shira. Yep, you're right. Good job. I just took a shot in the dark. Yeah. And now we are at a point where there still is no Saber. Do you know where Saber is? Do you want us to continue the quest for Saber? Well... If you want us to continue the quest for Saber, let us know in the comments down below. And thank you for watching these last two episodes of Fate Stay Night. I know not too much happened, but I mean, visual novels usually have a lot in them and usually start off at different paces as you saw over the last month. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Two Sides of Gamers. Thank you for watching through all of Visual Novel Month. We really hope that you enjoyed Visual Novel Month and uh, leave it all through the comments which visual novel you like the most. And remember, the visual novel you love the most is the one that we will play for our stream for Extra Life on October 25th. Out of all these visual novels, son, which one was your favorite? Uminergo. Well, okay, I don't think I... I don't think I needed to ask you about that one. Steins Gate's pretty good too, though. Steins Gate was pretty cool. It's a close second. I'm not gonna lie... Dramatical murder had me intrigued because it's I'm gay. not. No, no. Listen, listen. Because it's gay. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thank you guys for watching this episode of Two Sides of Gamers, and thank you for watching all of Visual Novel Month. You people are pretty cool, pretty awesome. Uh, down in the description, as a reminder, will be our link to our Extra Life uh, team. If you uh, want to donate a few dollars for the kids, you gladly can. I don't. If you don't want to and just want to spread awareness or watch us play games, that's totally fine as well. Uh, we hope to see you guys on October 25th for Extra Life. And we will catch you guys next week to our uh, regular, regularly scheduled programming uh, with a couple new games as well. So thank you guys very much. Any closing remarks for this amazing Visual Novel Month? Why are you still wearing my sunglasses? Because... It's too bright on planet cool. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for watching.